Oh, they're like beautiful hot women. As all get out. The talent, though, I have to say. So the woman who went sang opera, she was incredible. You really good. Yeah. But then there was a girl who um, wrote her own monologue, which I was like, turn the volume up. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Like, let's listen. And she came out in a nurse's uniform and basically read her emails out loud. And shockingly, <laughs> did not win. I was shockingly. like, that's not a real Seriously? talent. I swear to God. Why does she have a doctor's stethoscope around? Was it her? about that? She helps patients with Alzheimer's, which I know. Is not funny, but I swear you had to see it. Like, Google it if you can. There was a woman playing violin, a new... Colorado! It's important for me to honor Joe, who was the patient that I talk about in my monologue, because Alzheimer's is not fun, but it's going to be okay, and I think that I show that to the world. Performing an original monologue, here is Kelly Johnson, Miss Colorado. Every nurse has a patient that reminds them why they became a nurse in the first place. Mine was Joe. Joe was in the beginning stages of Alzheimer's. He had moments with and moments without his memory. But the hardest part about the aging condition for Joe were his night terrors. He would wake up in the middle of the night screaming absolute bloody murder. But if I just went into his room and sat with him for a little while, I could usually calm him down. But then he wanted to talk. He'd ask me if I could change his treatments, and I'd say, No, Joe, I can't do that. I'm just a nurse. Well, what about my medications? Can you fix those? And I'd say, no, Joe, I can't. I'm just a nurse. But because I couldn't do those things for him, we connected on other levels. He'd ask me about volleyball, and we'd talk about his grandbabies, and he'd tease me about being the only nurse on the unit that can reach the gauze on the top shelf. It was a lot of laughs with Joe. But one night, everything changed. I found him in his room crying, and I lifted his head up out of his hands, and I said, Joe, I know that this is really hard, but you are not just Alzheimer's. You are still Joe. And he looked right back at me, almost to look through me, and said, Nurse Kelly, then the same goes for you. Although you say it all the time, you are not just a nurse. You are my nurse. And you have changed my life because you cared about me. And that's when it hit me. Patients are people with family and friends. And I don't want to be a nurse that ever pretends because you're not a room number and a diagnosis when you're in the hospital. You're a person, very first. And Joe reminded me that day that I'm a lifesaver. I'm never going to be just a nurse.